ವಿದುರ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಕಲಾಂಬೋ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಬಾನ್ ಬುಧಿಸಮ್ ಯಂಗ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾರ್ಥ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾರ್ಥ ಸೀಸ್ ದ ರಿಯಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಹೆಲೋ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇಫ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನದರ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಲೆಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾರ್ಥಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ hope you all will enjoy the lesson okay here we go can you remember the last buddhism lesson yes last week we learned about the temple can you tell me before you enter to the temple what should we do yes we should remove our shoes slippers hats why because we must respect the buddha and also keep this in your mind whenever you go to the temple you should wear white clothes we don't wear dark color clothes to the temple right next tell me what are the three main places yes the first place is dagaba the second place is bodhiya and the third place is the buddha statue again tell me what are the three places what are the three main places in the temple yes the first place is dagaba second place is the bodhi tree and third place is the buddha statue right what are the things that we take to the temple hmm? when we are going to the temple what do we take yes oil flowers joysticks wicks and a match box okay what are joysticks handum kooru joysticks kiyanne handum kooru wicks wicks kiyanne pahan tira neda pote right okay now we'll move to the today's lesson today's lesson is about young siddhartha and the four sides do you like to listen to that story okay very good then listen carefully when the prince siddhartha was getting older his father and mother wanted to teach him the art of kingship what do you mean by the art of kingship yes they wanted to teach their son how to become a good king why because they wanted their son to be the king of their kingdom one day so one day king siddhodana called his son and said siddhartha you will be the king of this kingdom one day so it is time to prepare for that so they called the best teachers in the country to teach their son prince siddhartha started learning kingship so he started to learn archery that means how to fight and use a sword how to wield a bow and arrow and how to ride a horse so in this picture you can see he is learning how to wield a bow and arrow mona de ai gana gatte ha archery archery kiyanne yuddha shilpaya ರಾಜ ಕೆನೆಕ್ಕ ತಿಯನ್ನೋನಿ ಕೊಹಮದ ಯುದ್ಧ ಕರಾನ್ನಿ ಕೇಲ ಇಗನಗೆನ ತಿಯನ್ನೋನಿ ನೇದ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಲರ್ನ್ ಹೌ ಟು ವೀಲ್ಡ್ ಬೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನ್ಯಾರೋ ಏಕೆ ಅನ್ನು ಮುಖದ್ದ ದುನ್ನೆನ್ ಈ ತಲೆಯ ವಿದಿನ್ನೆ ಕೊಹಮದ ನೇದ ಯುದ್ಧಟ ಗಿಹಿಲ್ಲ ದುನ್ನ ಪಾವಿಚ್ಚು ಕರನ ವಿಧಿಯ ಇಗನಗಾತ್ತ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ he learns swordsmanship 
that means how to fight and use a sword in this picture you can see that huh? he is using a sword and he is training how to use the sword ekiyanne kaduwa paavichchi karala satanata yanne satanak dinanne kohomada kiyala igana gatta next he learned how to ride a horse can you see the picture yeah in this picture we can see he is learning how to ride a horse ashwek padinne kohomada kiyala siddhartha kumaraya igana gatta neda king suddhodana and the queen didn't allow prince siddhartha to go out of the palace because they wanted to show only the pleasant side of the world to the prince one day prince siddhartha requested permission from his parents to travel in the city so he got permission and he started to travel in the city with his favorite horse kantaka and the charioteer channa what was the name of his favorite horse very good kantaka okay pate keep that name in your mind right and the charioteer channa what do you mean by charioteer charioteer kiyanne kaatada ashwakarata padavana kenata neda ashwakarate padavana kenata api kiyana english valin charioteer kiyala okay and the charioteer's name was channa in this tour siddhartha saw so many things for the first time he was overjoyed he saw singers singing in the roadside dancers were dancing and the villagers have decorated their houses the gardens filled with blooming flowers hmm? paddy fields farm yards and the countrymen were gathered to see the prince right but on his way back to the palace he saw some unpleasant things he saw an aged person in the crowd he asked about it from his charioteer channa said prince he is an old person then prince siddhartha asked what do you mean by an old person channa said that means his days are over he too was young strong and healthy earlier like others but now his strength was lost and his body got bent and also he has lost his teeth prince siddhartha again asked channa like him will my father become old will i too become old channa said yes prince everyone will become old so prince siddhartha went to the palace thinking about getting old next day when he was traveling in the city he saw a man lying on the road prince siddhartha showed that man to channa and asked why is that man is lying on the road channa said prince he is a sick man he is ill his body has grown weak then prince asked will all the happy people become sick one day channa said yes prince all the happy people will become sick one day prince was totally upset and he went back to the palace
Once again, Prince Siddhartha went on a city tour on another day. He saw children were playing and they were happy and he saw lovely gardens, fields. But that day also he saw another sight. A man is lying still and the people around him are crying. Prince asked Channa, Why are they crying? Channa said, Prince, that is a dead body. Prince asked, What do you mean by dead? Please explain. Please explain everything to me. Channa said, All right, Prince. I'll explain everything to you. A baby grows into a child and then a young man and he enjoys the happiness of life, works for his family, growing older and weaker. Finally, he is dead. Every person has to die one day. Mukadda channa kiwe? Channa kiwa? Podila make? Chuti at ipadila? Eat a passe tika tika lokuela? Eat a passe taruna vela? Ya igana gena? Rasava karala? Satutin jiva tela? Eat a passe? Tika tika vaisa tegihila? Leda vela? Marana makiela neither. Every person has to die one day. That means, api hama kene kutama davasaka marenna siddha vena. All these things shocked the prince. He went back to the palace with frustration. The very next day, he travelled again. He wanted to get to know all these things. That day, he saw an ascetic. Who is an ascetic? Oh, Tapasatumek. Neither. Ya dakka, Siddhuat Kumar ya dakka, Tapasatumek. Neither. The ascetic was meditating. And he was trying to overcome the ills of life. And he looked calm. Me tapasatuma bhavanakar minui hitye. Like the ascetic, Prince Siddhartha wanted to attain calm and peace. Siddhartha Kumarya Dakka me tapasatuma buhoma sangvarava hita nivila. Bhavana Vedilaina. Iting Siddhartha Kumara Tatoni Una Me Vagema Bhavana Karala Me Jivite Tiena Nira Sabava Uboda Karagana. Neither. The prince was very upset and frustrated. Prince Siddhartha was lost in his thoughts. So these are the four sides. That Prince Siddhartha saw. Now, Pate, today we learned about young Siddhartha's life and the four sides. Okay. So, before I finish the lesson, I should tell you this. You have to take your yellow color Buddhism exercise book. And complete the student notes. Right? And we'll meet with another new lesson. Right? Stay safe and thank you. Bye.